the reason why you probably have been feeling really, really bored with your life and really lazy, unmotivated, probably don't want to do anything or you just feel like you need to change is probably because you don't have any hobbies. And the way that we're going to develop our hobbies is leaning into that discomfort. What I found is that the more uncomfortable you are in life, the more change there is to come. So for example, going to the gym in the beginning is very, very uncomfortable to wake up early and go to the gym every single day. It's very uncomfortable to choose to eat healthy meals. It's very uncomfortable to sit down and really focus on getting an assignment done. These things are very uncomfortable. But this is where the most growth comes from. And these hobbies that I'm going to share with you is going to upgrade your life and allow you to stop being so boring. We're going to become more interesting, which is then going to make our lives more interesting, more enjoyable, and make it a lot easier for us to reach our goals and upgrade our life and live the life that we want to live. When you are a lot more happier, you start to see things differently and more opportunities start coming into your life. And developing different hobbies is a really good way to make yourself more interesting. We all know that one person that you can talk to and they're just going very, very into detail. Like they can talk for hours about their thing, whether it's like guys who can talk about football to you for hours. And even though like you're not into football or it's not that interesting to you, the way that they're talking about it and the way that they're like really passionate about it is like, you just can't help but to listen and be intrigued in what they're saying. Like people that are into reading or movies and they're telling you about their favorite movie or me with a gym, like, I can talk to you about the gym and fitness for hours and never get bored and other people are just looking at me like it's just not that deep but that's one of my favorite hobbies which is weightlifting but these people that are able to talk to you for so long you end up finding them really really interesting especially when they're telling you something you don't know about like one of my aunts can tell me about wine all day and it's so interesting to me because I never knew that wine could be that interesting like there's so many different levels to wine and one of her hobbies is going wine tasting trying different wines learning about different wines and she can talk to you and tell you anything you need to know about wine when you find your thing and you become really obsessed with it you'll realize how life-changing it is and how it can just upgrade your whole life experience so let's get into the ways we're going to stop being a boring person through developing our hobbies and trying new things in this upcoming year by the way these hobbies are not meant to fix you or fix your life we're not here to fix or change anything that is wrong with your life but these hobbies are going to allow you to expand your life expand your thinking and just lean you more into a greater version of yourself our goal is to find activities and hobbies that genuinely make us happy and bring us joy but that are also going to lead us into becoming a better person and so grow because while we do want to have fun and do all the fun things we have goals using hobbies to reach them I feel like is a really good way to get there so I have broken hobbies into sections and these are gonna be the sections of this video our first section will be our spiritual hobbies which is one of my biggest focuses for this upcoming new year and one that I feel is going to make the biggest difference I kind of fell off this year but whatever your spiritual hobby looks like for you it can be praying three times a day praying five times a day I know in Muslim cultures they pray all throughout the day they wake up at a certain time and pray they pray a lot and I want to incorporate a lot more prayer into my life so that could be a hobby for you taking time out of your day every day at a certain time every single day to pray you can do worship a lot of Christians that I know do worship my grandma used to worship up every single Sunday no electronics no nothing no TV just the radio on her gospel channel and she would sit journal read the Bible and just worship God this could look like journaling for you or meditating I spoke on this before meditating is really hard for me to get into my mind wonders like crazy I do try but it's not my favorite because I'm not that good at it so finding a really good spiritual hobby is gonna upgrade your life completely trust me when I say this I have been journaling for the past few years since 2020 and it's so amazing to look back at my past journals and just realize and be proud of how far that I've come. So find a spiritual hobby and find one that you enjoy that works for you. Journaling works for me, it may not work for you. So don't go try to journal, like you know you don't enjoy it. Find something else that you like. Moving on to a physical hobby. Personally for me, weightlifting is where it's at. I love weightlifting. I did try Pilates, but Pilates is not for me. I just recently canceled my Pilates membership, but 
you can try weightlifting, Pilates, swimming. Some like hobbies that aren't that obvious are like skiing if you live in one of those cities where it's very cold and it snows, horseback riding, surfing. These are so different and these are things that I want to get into, not skiing or surfing, but I really, 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 one of my biggest goals for next year, I really want to start horseback riding so much. I recently went in February and fell in love. Now I've been on a horse before, but this horseback riding was like, I just loved it. Like loved it so much to the point where I want to make it a hobby and I want to make it something that I do weekly and incorporate it into my physical activity. Horseback riding and boxing, I'm gonna look for classes. If you can't afford classes, you have to find what works for you. If you can't afford to go and do like a group dance group, like they have Zumba classes. There are so many classes on Groupon. Groupon can be your best friend if that fits into your budget, but don't go try to spend money that you don't have. Obviously find something that works for you. You can go on the TV and do your dances through there. Zumba classes on there. Like obviously YouTube has so many resources for you to find a physical hobby that you actually enjoy. There's even at home Pilates courses on YouTube. Like I've done those also and trust me, it may seem like they don't work, but they are very intense. And the thing that I love about a physical hobby is well, if you find something that you enjoy, it becomes way easier to be consistent with it. And once you start to see those changes in your mood, your mental health, and your physical health, you're gonna be unstoppable. Like for me, I feel like moving your body every day is so, it's such an underrated way to level up and change your life. And I will forever preach by this. If you enjoy skating or skateboarding, you should also get into that. There's just so many things like bike riding, find a physical hobby that you enjoy enjoy and start doing it. It may not be such an obvious hobby. It may not even be one of the ones that I've mentioned, but do your research, look at these videos, look it up online and really try it out for a few weeks. Don't just try it one time and be like, oh, it's not for me, it's too hard. Keep trying it until you really figure out whether you want to stick with it or whether you want to try something else. To upgrade our experience, like we're not going to be living a boring life, okay? So it's just not going to help us in any way. Trying new things is going to make us happier. And when you have something to look forward to throughout the year, it's been proven that your experience of life is just upgraded. You feel happier, you feel better, you're constantly in a better mood. Our next section is a creative hobby for you. For someone like me, this could look like writing, painting, drawing, finger painting. If you're not the best painter, you can look on YouTube for like guides on how to paint or how to draw. This can also look like pottery. I really wanna get into doing pottery classes like with my friends at least like once a month just to try it. I've seen a few people do it like in their vlogs and it looks really fun and therapeutic. Plus I love to cook. So I feel like if I really make like a nice cup or a bowl, I'ma be unstoppable like girl, I'm putting my dish that I just cooked in my own bowl that I just made at the pottery class. So yeah, find something that you can have like a creative outlet. It can also be creating music or writing music, writing songs, writing poems, poetry. But I think that once you start making money from a hobby, is it really a hobby? Like now it's turned into a source of income and a business. But we're definitely leaning more into creative hobbies. I'm not the best painter or drawer. And I don't really find joy in sitting down and painting things or drawing them. So writing will probably be the hobby for me. I could write for hours. Like I could just sit and write. The next section of our hobbies, especially as a woman, I feel like cooking, not to like women should be cooking. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I think cooking is very, very therapeutic, especially when you're not being forced to cook. Like when you're cooking something that you want to try like a new recipe and you're genuinely excited about trying a new recipe, it's such a fun experience. Next year, when I get back from my trip, I want to try to make pozole. I want to try to make African food. I want to try to make so many different cultures food. I know it's not going to take exactly like that, but that's not the point. Like you're trying something new. You're tapping into another part of yourself and it's really therapeutic. That's something that you can look forward to in your work week. Okay, on Wednesday, I'm going to try and cook this new recipe for my family. Like you're looking forward to this while you're at work. If cooking, you feel like you're not the best cook or it's not for you, try baking or try juicing, like juicing fruits. I know some people that can talk about juicing and detoxing for hours now I, I I love food okay juicing and detoxing I'll add it but as far as just going full-fledged on juicing and detoxing I've never I've tried and I didn't make it that far actually but being in the kitchen and just especially alone nothing like being in the kitchen alone you ain't gotta hear nobody in your mouth telling you how to cook this or how to do that like you're genuinely enjoying it it's like 
the point of this like you're upgrading your skills you have more things to talk about when you link up with your friends you can talk about this new recipe and a lot of cultures people share recipes they talk about food like food is a really big part of a lot of cultures so i feel like when you have those recipes that are like yours and you feel like you know what this is going to be my recipe it gives you something to talk about you can recommend these things to other people while you're talking. And it's just like, who doesn't like to cook? Other than juicing and baking, another one that I have recently thought of since I'm now like in an actual house is gardening. I recently did a video and it was coming from my neck because I asked, what can you use the white part of a green onion for? And they were like, you can literally grow more onions out of a cup and water. So I do want to get into that, growing some onions, just the easy things. Like I'm not trying to have no apple tree or grow no bananas, but look, just like the easy veggies, I want to start doing those little things. Like that little baby boy scene when she's like outside gardening and she's really serious about her plants. It's like, I get it now. Like I understand it. You just want to have something to yourself, something that you can just look forward to at the end of every day or at the beginning of every day and every morning. It makes you very, very excited and it just boosts your whole mood about your life you have to be intentional about this experience that we're having and hobbies is the way to do that and then when you get in the groove of these things you'll start to realize how they're shaping you into a better person and most importantly around well-rounded person after college and like high school i feel like we leave all the like unnecessary things behind you know they make you do these electives they make you have these certain things that you get into like sports or whatever and as we get older we just forget about them and it's like why instead of just mindlessly scrolling on instagram which i find myself doing a lot or just turning on a movie to have some background noise turning on a show just to have some background noise just to get on your phone and scroll and scroll and scroll and you literally end up scrolling for hours you could be knitting you a blanket you could be drawing something, writing some music, editing a photo, editing a video. A hobby can also be taking pictures, like taking pictures of nature. All these other things that you could be spending your time doing that can actually upgrade your experience, which of course scrolling is a part of it, especially if you're a content creator or you're trying to become one. Most of the time we're literally just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and find ourselves just scrolling for hours and it's not benefiting us in no way, shape or form, if I'm being real. 2024 is our year of becoming our highest selves and trying to experience life in the best way that we can in a way that genuinely makes us happy and finding the things that work for us what works for me may not work for you what works for your favorite influencer or content creator may not be for you but that doesn't mean that you can't find something that is there are so many hobbies that you can do you have to just try it and see if it works for you do the research you don't know what's around your area until you look but i'm pretty sure there has to be some type of fitness class, some type of cooking class that you can take if you can afford it. Like I said, if not, you literally can look on the internet and find a new recipe to try once or twice a week. Go and explore a new gym or go for a hike outside, go for a run outside, go jogging with your friends, take a new fitness class with your friends or go horseback riding at least one time if you have never even experienced. If you can find a hobby in each one of these sections, that would be great, but if you can't, Finding one is a great place to start. And once you realize the impact that it's having on you and your experience, it'll lead you to find more and open up more opportunities for you to find more hobbies. And a lot of times our hobbies can be turned into these businesses that we've always dreamed of, especially if you become really good at it, like cooking. Even if you're not a great cook, it's so crazy with the power of social media, you can turn anything into content and people will pay you for this stuff like i said we're not trying to fix our broken life or fix anything that i was wrong with our life we're just trying to find hobbies and things that we enjoy that is going to lead us to become a better person a more rounded person and lead us into living the life that we actually want to live and experience life differently like i don't know anyone that wants to be a boring person that doesn't want to be more interesting or have something to talk about with their friends and family something new and only good things can come from trying out these different things like you're experiencing life in a totally different way that you never have before what harm could that do if you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to list below some of the hobbies that you will try or hobbies that you already have that i didn't mention in this video please do so in the comments because i know i missed so many hobbies but i would love to know more maybe i can even try them with you guys and i will see you guys in the next video